Our offering this morning is for Lighthouse. Uh, Lighthouse is an organization that seeks particularly to provide help and aid to those who are struggling with pover- poverty or with uh, the, the implications of being a refugee coming to Canada and settling in this new land and so on. And uh, like usual these days, the offering plate will be at the back of the church for you to contribute to after the service, uh, or you can uh, give in uh, other ways as well. In terms of congregational prayer, um, just an update for you uh, from uh, Sue. Um, (coughs) Excuse me. Uh, Her chemo treatments are going well. Um, She has not had any adverse effects um, as of yet. She's had a couple treatments, and so we praise God for that. She has found out that she has a uh, collapsed vertebra, and um, there's also a fractured um, uh, hip uh, as well, I believe. Uh, And so she is probably going to need surgery for that at some point in the future. Uh, Not yet, however. Um, And so that's uh, probably got a lot to do with some of her mobility issues, as you can imagine. Um, So that's an update. Also, um, just in terms of VBS, you may have seen the VBS slide up there. Um, The VBS packages are ready. Yes, they're gone already. So awesome. How many did we send out? Do you know? Nice. Nice. Good, good. So uh, if you didn't hear, about 32 different packages-ish or so went out to kids and families, about half of those through the food bank, which is great. Um, So we will be able to, the the VBS people especially, uh, will be able to minister uh, through those packages. And what a blessing that is. It's not what we would prefer, of course. We'd love to have um, kids uh, at the churches and be able to do that ministry face-to-face. I loved my storytelling times. Those were good. Um, But uh, we are grateful to be able to do that as well well. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much again for this time together that we can be with you and with one another, uh, whether in person or uh, virtually, O God. We are together in spirit, and we worship you in spirit and in truth. O God, we pray that you will bless us as we continue on through this service and as we continue on through this summer, and uh, Lord, not only us, but we pray that you will bless the various churches in Athens and in our surrounding area. Lord, this morning, uh, we pray especially for Dixon's Corners and for uh, Pastor Aaron Thompson there. Lord, we pray that you will bless him and his family and their ministry there. Uh, Lord God, I know that they are having worship services outside, and and, uh, that seems to be going pretty well, all things considered. And so, Lord, I pray that you will bless them. Father, we pray as well for uh, our VBS, for the Village's VBS. We thank you so much that uh, 32 families could receive uh, these home kits and, and that they could Uh, participate in VBS in their own way, in their own homes. Lord, we pray that those will truly be a blessing to those families. We pray as well uh, for Sue. We thank you, O God, that her treatments have not been, uh, have not had detrimental side effects at this point. Lord, we pray that you will continue to be with her. Lord, help her in her pain and also Uh, with regards to her mobility, especially uh, with these uh, injuries as a result of the tumors. Lord, we pray as well for Henny. We ask that you would bless her and Mark and her family. Lord, we pray for Edith and for Andy, Lord. We ask that you will bless them and continue to be with Edith as she journeys along. Lord, we thank you so much that Wilma's most recent test results have been good. 
<coughs> Lord, we pray for uh, any other test results that may be coming in in the next while, that they too would be uh, good results. Lord, we pray that you will be with the various ministries of our church and the churches in this village and in the surrounding area as they too seek uh, with hope to get things going again on some level or another. Lord, we pray that you will inspire people to step up and volunteer to minister to one another and to this community. Lord God, we pray for this world. We know, O oh God, that there is still a lot of COVID-19 out there and that indeed in some places a fourth wave seems to be coming and our own health care uh, professionals and, and uh, our own wise people in that front advise us that we too may face such a thing. Lord, we pray that you would be with our world. Have mercy on us, O oh God. Help us to, with wisdom and compassion and righteousness and holiness and mercy and love to walk forward into whatever you have for us. May we hold our hands open to receive whatever you have for us and Lord, yes, to offer up whatever you would take from us. Lord God, we pray in a continuing way for all of those affected by the fires in northern Ontario and in British Columbia especially, O oh God. We pray for those suffering from the drought that is going on, especially out west as well. We pray, O oh God, for those who are refugees from their homes because of these fires. We pray for the firefighters and all their support workers as they seek to battle these flames. Lord God, have mercy on us. We pray as well, O oh God, as we come to your scriptures in the message, Lord, we pray that you would open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear. Guide us as we dive into your words here. We pray as well for the ministry of Lighthouse. We pray that as they seek to help those who are among the, the neediest in our society, that you would bless them that our tithes and offerings would be a blessing to them and that all of it would be a pleasing aroma to you and that it would spread your good news in this world. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.